So just like in every sport, there is a definitive year ending event to crown the champion. You know, there's the Super Bowl, the World Series, the Stanley Cup. Y'all get my point. In thoroughbred racing, the Breeders' Cup World Champion is a culmination of the horse racing season worldwide. This year's Breeders' Cup Classic will be held in Lexington, Kentucky at Keeneland Racetrack. The festivities kick off the 6th on Friday. They'll have five races there, and then they'll follow in to Saturday the next day, where we'll not only have the FanDuel Mile, but the Longines Breeders' Cup Classic. The Classic is ran in a mile and a quarter and draws throw reds year after year. The race is open to horses three years old and up, and there is only 14 starters allowed in this race. So even if you don't follow horse racing, this is the race where you'll still probably know some of these names. You have Tis the Law, who won the Belmont Stakes, who I personally thought had the makings for a triple crown horse. You have Authentic, who is a Baffert horse and is never to be left out. He won the Derby. And then we have a Swiss Skydiver, who not only won the Preakness, but also my heart being the only filly in that race, and she won. Now that we're all caught up on the Breeders' Cup, where it is, what it is, let's talk about a couple races. The first one I wanna talk about is the FanDuel Mile. And please, if you haven't heard about it, go over to FanDuel. If you can roster the 14 horses in their exact order, you have a chance to win a million dollars. But three horses that I have my eye on are Ivar, One Master, and Digital Age. I like Ivar. He ran a great Shadewell mile on a Keelan turf course earlier in the year. So let's talk about the big race, AKA the Breeders' Cup Classic. There's a couple of horses that I have my eye on, but it's subject to change. I like Tom Dita. I think he offers spectacular value. I like Tez the Law. I think he's coming back with a vengeance after that derby loss. And I just don't feel right not having a Baffert horse on my radar. And that's why I have Improbable as my third horse that I have my eye on. I'm no expert, but I hope that I got some of y'all excited for Breeders' Cup weekend. You can go check out FanDuel and TVG if you want to put in bets. Best of luck and let's make some money.